For our last day in the Northern Rhone, we start off with an early morning barrel tasting of Serene and Syrah, and then head off to a local farm to see how goat cheese is made. <laughs> Join us on the ultimate food and wine adventure, The Wine Travelers. Uh, one of the things that distinguishes Northern Rhone Shiraz to Sh or Syrah to Shiraz from the rest of the world, particularly the Southern uh, Hemisphere Shiraz, is that you do get this very distinctive black pepper. They're here in San Joseph, it's black pepper. We'll go to San, we'll go to Crow's Hermitage where it'll be more white pepper. And that's, a, that's something which really stands out when you taste the wines from here versus other parts. So you have a high minerality, a lot of black pepper, high acidity. Yes. Oh, let's have a taste. So this is the crazy wine from the crazy vineyard. <laughs> Very good. Considering how young the vines are, that's fantastic. Each time we try to do something different. Crazy. Crazy, but... Uh, Edward, he describes himself not as a winemaker, but as a wine troublemaker. <laughs> The Rhone is famous for its goat cheese. So next it's off to a friend's farm where they make goat cheese the old-fashioned way. On the way, we pass through the medieval village of Malval, which means Bad Valley. This is where pirates would hide out after robbing barges on the Rhone. And they do pretty, pretty good cheese. So now we are, we're gonna taste the cheese now. Okay, that's okay. from yesterday night to this morning. Uh, the milk they uh, got yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. They start to make fresh cheese. Now you that. See? And we got the process of making goat cheese is pretty simple. Put some fresh milk into a cup, add salt, she and wait. Salt. Oh, she when she did that, she added okay. salt to okay. help you know the drainage. Okay, and that brings the water yes, out of exactly. it? Yes, okay. exactly. Uh, two, two weeks. Two weeks. The longer you wait, the more flavor and aroma you get. <laughs> Some people like fresh, some people like older, so she ate some. Mm, it's a bit chalky, it's mm -hmm. not fat. No, that's good. When you grow grass and the goat gets, uh, eats that grass, they get different kind of milk mm -hmm. and you get different kind of goat cheese. That's why it makes a big difference. Because this flavor is much Even different. Even the goat cheese, river terroir oh, taste. Okay, so it's like, the, like wine. Yes, okay. exactly. While the goats attack a bucket of Syrah grapes, we enjoy freshly squeezed organic muscat juice straight off their vineyard. No, no. It's good, huh? It's It's Natural fruit juice. Natural, huh? Muscat. Muscat. Okay. You my god. <laughs> <laughs> we end our afternoon back at Rochecourt, trying some of Ed's wines from different parts of France and enjoying our last lunch in Alain's hut. It's my dad type. We have found the French to be utterly heroic in their hospitality and generosity a theme which will be repeated throughout our entire journey through Europe's wine country. Merci. Bon voyage, bon retour, hein?
Jackson, bon voyage. Au revoir. Under cool skies, we pack up the van again, reluctant to leave but excited for adventures to come. We are going in south of the Rhône, in the Grenache country. We are heading south, into the Mediterranean sun of the southern Rhône, to olive trees, lavender fields, and dark, sweet Grenache.